Oh yeah. Hey everybody and welcome to the new video. I hope you guys are excited because today I'm going to be unboxing the 15.6 inch Type-C portable monitor by Lapau. This company reached out to me on Instagram saying, hey, we've seen your YouTube and TikTok videos and um, they saw that I made gaming videos and other stuff like that. And they asked me if I was interested in making a review video of their newest release. They have many portable monitors. This is the Z1 series and 15.6 uh, inches, like I said. And this I am super excited for. So this video is just gonna act like a unboxing and review video. I'm gonna go test it out on some of my gaming consoles because uh, I believe that's what it's primarily used for. Lapau is actually a new and upcoming tech brand that uh, I believe they specialize in monitors. And I think they cater most to gaming. Either way, it could be used for anything because we're all familiar with like our home systems and the big TV monitors that we use. Whether you use an Xbox or Switch or PS4, you plug your HDMI into it and then that's what you play your games on. So this is basically that same thing, it's that same concept, except it's in the name where it's a portable monitor that you can literally take anywhere. And it fits right inside of your backpack and it's a good size and I heard that it's really slim and it's like a good, good thing to have around with you. So right when you open the box, you have this little foam protective plate, it's just packaging. And right here, ooh, it comes with a nice screen protector, which we all know how essential these things are. So I'm glad that they actually gave you a screen protector instead of like making you go out and buy one for like five, eight dollars. Right here is a nice little USB-C cable because that's what it runs on. Right here, oh, we have the nice little wall plug that goes with it. And then this is just some introduction pamphlets. Uh, apparently there is a monitor stand that uh, is sold separately, so if you're interested in that. Uh, I believe this comes with a nice little like folding case that kind of acts as one anyways. And then of course your three years and six month warranty. All right, now on to the main tablet. Let's get this little protective cover off. Here it is. Slide it off. All right, so it comes packaged in the little case. Wow, look at this. I love the design of it. It's so nice. Um, this is not a touch screen, I don't think. But uh, oh, we have this little, this little protective cover right here. I'm gonna leave it on for the time being. And then here is the case, the little protective case that I was talking about. Oh, here it is. I think this is like a soft rubber and it's magnetic. Nice. So it basically just attaches to the actual tablet and then um, I'm gonna show you guys later how you can like make it into a stand and everything. Putting this out to the side, what we got here? This is a USB-C to USB-C cable and then this is the HDMI port that plugs into your tablet. And then right here we just have frequently asked questions, a nice little cleaning kit, which is good. And then of course we have our user guide. Oh wow, I am so honored that they sent this to me. Look at how slim this is. I'm not sure the exact measurements of how slim this is, but I'm gonna put it on screen right now. What I do know is that Lapau is known to have, oh, what's up? Lapau is known to have these very slim and nice designs. And that's kind of what they were aiming for when they want to make this a portable thing because they know that it's kind of hard to carry like huge thick laptops or basically anything in your bag. And the slimness really does that justice. I'm gonna take off the plastic screen, which is the most satisfying thing about every single tech video. Oh yeah. That screen looks really nice. Just look at that. And then it attaches. All right, so how to attach it, just find the little side that has only one slit right here and then just lay it on like that. And then you could use it. You just look at these little ridges right here and then that's how you use it to make it into a stand. Go, that's the first view, and then that's the second view, and you could just kind of do whatever angle you want. That's really good. Kind of like any other iPad case that you see. I feel like it's pretty basic, but that's all you need, really. It's all I need. And then it just closes like that. And then now, when you have the case on, it could just go straight into your backpack, and it's no big deal. On the right side of the tablet, if you look underneath here, you have power button, you have volume, which it's not exactly a spinny thing, but it's more it like jets to one side and then you can kind of like adjust it. And then here is your USB-C charging port. On the other side, you have your HDMI, you have your USB-C once again, and then your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. 
So yeah, I think I'm gonna turn this on so we can kind of see what this is all about. Yep, I have to charge this. Um, that's weird because in some review videos it came already charged and people were able to just like boot it up and start looking at it immediately. Uh, I guess that's not the case for all of them, so I'm gonna see you in a bit. Just need to give this thing a charge. All right, so I turned it on in the side, a little green light pops up and right now it says no signal. That's what it just said. And of course it's gonna say no signal because this is just a monitor. So let me go get my switch and we can get started. So as you can see on the HDMI, this side is bigger. This is the one that goes into my switch and this is the smaller side and that's what goes into the lapel tablet. I'm gonna take the small HDMI and I'm gonna plug it into my lapel tablet right here. So that side is in. And then I'm gonna take the other end and I'm gonna put it into my switch like I would do if I was just doing a normal setup so I could take this one out. Oh, by the way, it looks like because this comes with a smaller port on that end, a normal HDMI that you would get like with your Switch or Xbox is not going to work with it. Okay, let's turn on my switch. And wow, look at that right here. See right here? This is the actual Switch screen right here. This is so big and the display is super nice. Let's get my Joy-Con down here so we can manage this. And wow, that is super nice. So when I adjust the volume, the little square right here comes up on screen and that's volume 100. Uh, the speakers are on the side. I heard that the audio isn't like, the best. From what I'm hearing right now, it's actually pretty decent. I'm super impressed with how the monitor looks, sounds, and how it just performs. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some gameplay for you guys real quick. I would use my Elgato, but that would kind of defeat the purpose of this whole review. So starting out with the Switch, the first thing I noticed is that the volume level was amazing. Like I said, in all the reviews I've watched on YouTube, one common critique is that the speakers of the lapel are not the best. In the PS4 and Xbox, that may be true, but not the Switch. However, the Switch happens to be the only portable console, while the other two are home consoles, so I guess it all works out for this system. Out of all the consoles I tested today, the PS4 definitely had the best graphics, but that's probably not tied to the monitor in any way. The PlayStation and Naughty Dog, creators of The Last of Us, are known for their amazing graphics, so that's probably the only reason it looked the best. The Xbox also displayed some amazing graphics and frame rate, and I chose Grand Theft Auto for my test run as I wanted to see how the lapel handled an open world game, and it performed greatly. You also have the option to plug your laptop or computer into the monitor, only my laptop does not have an HDMI port so I was not able to test it. But you can do a lot of things when you're hooked up to your computer, such as giving presentations, casting movies, as well as having a dual monitor setup, which is probably the most beneficial ability in my opinion. Overall guys, I would highly recommend this Lapau USB Type-C tablet, 15.6 inches, and this is gonna be really helpful for when I'm gonna be going places. I imagine a lot of people using this on like long car rides in which they wanna like uh, watch a movie or play their Switch. And this is going to be super helpful when I'm going to be going overseas to England, hopefully. Um, but yeah, super nice. And you could find it in the description below. I believe Lapau is partnership with Amazon and that's where it was sent to me from. And go visit their website. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And even bigger thank you to my friends over at Lapau for letting me test out this product. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, comment, share, and subscribe. For more videos, I hope to be uploading soon. I'm gonna be going back to school and I'm gonna have more friends around me to be doing videos with, so look forward to that. And I will see you guys in the next video.